All right, let's start it off with the uh, equipment prep. The um, cutting torch. Uh, show you guys how to do that. So once you're already a CEO or a VIP, and you have started the heist and done some of the other setups, you're going to need to do the cutting torch. So you can go ahead and start that. It's always at the construction site, uh, or a construction site I should say. There's about four or five of them I believe. So we'll just have to see if I'm close to one. Okay, yeah, it's the one up in the hills, which is actually really nice, and it'll probably be easiest just to take the helicopter there. Like I said, there's about four, I think, four construction sites. The worst one, and the only one that's really that bad, is on the top of the building that's under construction. Oh, didn't realize I was getting that out. <laughs> I thought it was in Just north of town by the air. Okay. Just be a short flight over there. Hopefully I don't get one of them. So I do So yeah, you basically just want to make the flight over there. I'll probably cut ahead. This one is kind of near Michael's house uh, in single player, but there's this little cul-de-sac with a house under construction, so you can just kind of nicely land in the cul-de-sac. For this mission, uh, you can do it loud or you can do it quiet. I, Depending on where I go, I do it differently. Like for this cul-de-sac one, it's fairly easy to land outside, grab a hard hat, and then uh, go in and stealthily do it. Whereas, like I said, if you get the tall building construction site, it's easiest to just fly around and blow everyone up with your uh, flying vehicle you're using. So once you've landed uh, at this one, uh, the hard hat's right here. Let's go ahead and throw that on, and now these guys won't attack you as long as you're quick about it. And you don't bump into anyone, that's a key point as well. You just want to look around for the blue cutting torch inside one of these little toolboxes. Uh, as you can see, they're kind of just spread randomly all over. And like I said, I don't want to bump into that guy. <laughs> um, you just got to basically search them all until you get lucky enough to find it. I'm being like extremely unlucky and it's going to be in like the last one. Yep. Yes, yes, whatever. Oops, didn't need to go up there. Carefully go here. Yep, yeah, it's right here in the very last one. This is the most convenient one because it's right by the helicopter. So you just grab that. No one cares. Did you find it yet? Now you can leave. It to me and, I will keep it safe. and normally, if you did this loud, uh, all these guys would be shooting at you, of course, and they'd be sending two cars non-stop over and over. And if you blow them up, two more cars will come. But because I didn't shoot anyone or do anything, uh, I won't be pursued at all. Not that in a helicopter by a couple cars is that big of a deal, but... And I definitely should have moved myself. <laughs> but now you basically just fly it back to your sub, however far or close or whatever that may be, and, uh... Hey, yeah, you're basically done. It's a very simple mission. Uh, later on I'll show you where all of them are. If I can, uh, pull it up on the really not that far, it's almost equally as close as Vespucci Beach. If I was like one more parking spot down, it'd be better. Could be worse. Ours is a strange business, Captain. We work so hard to get new weapons, vehicles, equipment, and then afterwards we just 
then there you go. The cutting torch prep is completed. If anyone has any questions or comments about the cutting torch prep, uh, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.